Welcome back to Eyes Open, where we delve into and recreate the eyes of the movie monsters and creatures we all know and love. My name is Mark, and today we're looking at those spooky-ass eyes from Salem's Lot. Being over a 400-page book from Stephen King, the studio scrapped the idea of making it into a feature film and opted for a two-part miniseries, although it was edited down and released theatrically afterwards. And those eyeballs, as you would expect, were painful to wear throughout the shoot. Actor Reggie Nelder advised it took some time adjusting to the eye contacts and makeup. So let's go ahead and get our eyes open on Salem's Lot. This is our second episode looking at vampire eyes. Previously, we looked at the eyes from Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt's vampires in Interview with the Vampire. Now with those eyes, they were pretty intense. These eyes, however, you wouldn't want to catch them staring at you at the head of the bed. Shit, let's get the hell out of here, man. These eyes are at first glance some crazy looking yellow eyes, but have a mix of green and some bloodshot looking veins. All this detail combined creates a pretty freaky looking set of eyes. There's a kind of plague in this town. People are dying. Don't you understand what's happening? Do you? Yes, I do. It's in the Marston house. It's got to be rooted out. It's got to be destroyed. And there you go, some eyeballs from Salem's Lot. Next week's episode, we are looking at the eyes from Linda Blair in The Exorcist. So be on the lookout next week, and you know, keep your eyes open.